Hi, Rachel. What have you been up to? Or maybe I should ask, what have you been? Hey, Rachel. Give me a hand here, will you? I didn't see you at school today. I felt kind of sick this morning, so I stayed home. But you felt better this afternoon, huh? So much better that you decided to morph? How did you get here? Just out of curiosity. Blue. Is that okay with you? That bear you morphed yesterday. You went to the gardens and acquired that all on your own, didn't you? No, I met that bear at the mall. Okay. And today you ditch school and end up morphing whatever you morphed. An eagle. I saw a bald eagle riding the thermals this afternoon. I should have guessed. It was out for too long, acting like a buzzard. A real eagle would have perched after a while. It's so nice knowing I have privacy. That was about noon. If you came here an eagle morphed, that would be more than two hours. You must have been morphed, then morphed again. You spent the whole afternoon in morph? Yes, mother. Don't give me your sarcasm, Rachel. You are acting really weird. That's everyone's business, because if you do something stupid, we could all end up paying the price. You go and acquire a grizzly without backup? You could have been so killed. So what? You heard the Elemist? We're doomed. It's going to be Yerkes 1, Human 0. We lose. So who cares about anything? Who cares if I skip school to go flying? I don't know, Rachel. I don't have any answers. I'm sick of trying to have answers. You decide. I don't want to argue with you. I don't know what your problem is, but you know what? You deal with it. My dad wants me to move out of state with him. What are you going to do? How can I even think about something that unimportant? I mean, like we don't have bigger things to worry about? The fate of planet Earth and the human race? Different things bother different people. I know how you feel about your dad. He's a jerk for dumping this on me. I mean, you know, I mean, it's like, what am I supposed to do? After what happened last night, after all that, I have to decide who I want to hurt, my mom or my dad and you guys and... Come on, Rachel, take it easy. Come on, you're Xena. No, no, I'm not some stupid TV character. I'm not some comic book, Marco. I'm scared, okay? Just like all the rest of you. I'm scared of what almost happened to me last night. I'm scared just knowing that place exists down there. I'm scared about what happens to me. I just wanted to run away, but I didn't think I could, so I was brave because that's the way I'm supposed to be. But now everyone's going, oh, just come live with me and we'll go to ball games. And hey, forget moving to another state. We have a whole other planet for you. And the more exits I see, the more scared I get, all right? I've been thinking. I'm changing my vote. If the Elemist asks again, I'm going to vote yes. What? Why? Rachel's losing it. If she loses it, how long are the rest of us going to Shut last? Shut up, Marco. I'm not in the mood for your jokes. Me neither. You know how much sleep I got last night? About an hour. Nightmares. I was a zombie in school today. I feel like, like my skin has all been rubbed with sandpaper. I'm jumpy. I'm scared. I'm stressed. It's gonna happen. This was always insane, right from the start. A handful of kids fighting an alien invasion? Look what's happening. Tobias is trapped in a morph. Rachel is starting to use morphing to get away from her problems. The other night I woke up in bed and I didn't know what I was. I didn't know if I had hands or fins or claws or talons. Maybe you and Cassie are immune, Jake, but I doubt it. We can't give up. All we ever do is lose. We annoy the Yerks. Maybe we blow up a ship or have some little success, but the invasion marches on. And all we ever do is barely escape with our lives. We're like some baseball team that never wins a game. And now, according to the Elemist, we know it's going to be a whole losing season. We aren't going to the playoffs. I don't care. I'm not giving up. 